Hi, first graders. It just occurred to me that I need to stop starting my videos by saying, hi, first graders. I need to start saying, hi, very, very soon to be second graders. You guys are so close. So hello there, almost second graders. Today, we are going to read our final book um, as an example of a fictional narrative. So just our fiction book, a story. Um, we will fill in our last story organizer. And then our next lesson, your next lesson with me, we will start um, writing notes down for creating our own story. So that's gonna be so much fun. So let's read our next book and let's see if we can come up with all the information. Our characters, our setting, our problem, and our solution. So this one's a little bit um, shorter than some of the books that we've been reading, but the illustrations are fantastic. So I'll make sure I show those pictures and hold it on here a little bit longer. So the title of our book is The Stray Dog by Mark Simmet. There they are at the park. And the family's loading up the car. Got grill and all. It was a great day for a picnic. What's this? asked the father. It's a scruffy little dog, said the mother. He looks hungry, said the girl. I think he wants to play, said the boy. The children played with him and taught him to sit up. They named him Willie. They kept playing until it was time to go. Let's take Willie home, said the children. No, said the father. He must belong to somebody, explained the mother, and they would miss him. On the way home, the girl said, maybe Willie doesn't belong to anybody. There they are. Oh, during the week, all the family had on their mind was Willie. So Monday, dad poured the coffee, ended up all over the, the table. Wednesday, the daughter tripped going up the stairs. Thursday, the son couldn't even catch the baseball. And then poor mom on Friday burned dinner. Couldn't stop thinking of Willie. On Saturday, what were they doing on Saturday? That's right, having another picnic. Willie, they all cried when he appeared. But Willie didn't stop. Willie was in a big hurry. You see why he was in a big hurry? Oh, right here. The dog catcher. There they go. He has no collar. He has no leash, said the dog warden. This dog is a stray. He doesn't belong to anybody. The boy took off his belt. Here's his collar, he said. The girl took off her hair ribbon. Here's his leash, she said. His name is Willie and he belongs to us. Happy kids. They 
took Willie home. And after that, they introduced him to the neighborhood where he met some very interesting dogs. Silly dogs there. And Willie settled in where he belonged. Nice and comfy. So I hope you can see that if you are writing a story on your own, a fictional narrative, the length doesn't matter. So we have read some really long ones, somewhat long ones, and then this one is just a short, simple story. But guess what? It's still going to have the main parts of a fictional narrative. So keep that in mind when you have your assignment to write your story. That Not to get overwhelmed that you think that you have to write this super long story. Even think back to some of the books that we've read in reading groups. Frog and Toad. Those stories aren't very long, but they include all of these parts of a story. Um, so a short story can be just as fun and interesting as a longer story. Okay, so let's go through and figure out the parts of our book. So we have The Stray Dog is our title. So if you have your sheet, make sure you fill this in. Okay, so we have The Stray Dog. In this story, did the characters have names? No, they didn't give us any names, and that's okay. Same thing, when you're writing your story, you can have names, or you could just have you know, the son, sister, brother, father. They don't always have to have a name given to them. So for the characters, I'm going to go ahead and include all of them, because they had a big part in the story. We had mom, we had dad, I'm going to call them brother and sister. And then the big star was Willie the dog. That's right. Well done. Okay, so those are my characters in the story. So now the setting, when and where the story took place. Um, we've just been writing where but sometimes we'll have to include the when and we'll talk about that a little bit more when you start planning your story okay so more to come so for this story for the setting where did this story take place i can think of two places two main places that's right so the park and at home perfect so again we don't need complete sentences for the character in the setting so we can put the park and at home. Let me write and here. Okay. On to the problem. What do you think the problem was in this story, The Stray Dog? Yeah, they found a dog and they couldn't keep him, right? Were they happy about not keeping him? Not at all. They were very sad and distracted. Okay, so we'll put the family found a dog. We're going to put a little comma here. But... They couldn't, or we'll put could not, keep him. Okay, hopefully you can see that okay. And always you can pause if you need time to fill in the rest of your, your page. Okay, so let's think about the solution. 
the problem and solution are related, right? We need the solution to this problem. So what was the solution? And the family went back to the park and they found out he didn't have an owner, right? That he was a stray, so they took him home. Okay, so we'll say the family went back to the park the dog did not have an owner comma so they took him home and then they lived happily ever after didn't they all right well done so that was a quick and simple wrap up to our reading of fictional narratives so I have in the lesson plans, but just a reminder for you guys, go ahead and start thinking. What kind of story do you want to write? So remember, it needs to be fiction, it needs to be made up. So start thinking about who your characters are going to be. Where is it going to take place? Or when is it going to take place? In the future or in the past maybe? And then the problem and the solution, they should be related. Um, so just start thinking about it and then we'll talk about it a little bit more during our next lesson. All right. Happy reading. Keep reading. Make sure, honestly, to get ideas is to keep reading more and more books. Like I talked about with um, reading groups, going back to Frog and Toad, you can get ideas from these great stories. So the more you read, the better you become at writing. So keep reading, keep reading, keep reading, and think of ideas for our story. All right, bye guys.